Or hurry everyone and welcome aboard. Or hurry everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... PSM First Meter here at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday where we'll be trying out a few games to see if there are any fun or good for streaming later. And some just to, well, show them off and have a bit of fun with it. Uh, we'll give each about half an hour. And yeah, last time we had some issues. Did we fix the, the widescreen issue last time we did one of these or? I think we, right that? after we found out the, uh, the solution. Okay. And this is either number 76 or 77. Uh, I forget specifically which, but uh, yeah, we will have a few games that will be going through really quickly. So we'll probably be going through like six or something. And yeah, I was going to take a step back and do one specific game just a bit backwards since we're doing this alphabetically. Uh, but that has a bit of an annoying <laughs> loop with the sound at the start or whilst you're waiting. <clears throat> So I decided to <laughs> jump the game two from the start, so you didn't have to hear Bugs Bunny munching on a carrot for five fucking minutes. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you for that. And instead, we'll be starting with uh, <clears throat> with Call of Juarez. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Call of Juarez Gunslinger, which is a pretty fun game. And, well, last time it <laughs> refused to show gameplay to Drakir because of the stats uh, page that was open from OBS for some reason. Uh, but now it should work. Yeah, I can see it so far. I can see the arrow. I can see you moving about. I can see the arrow moving about. So it's working. Uh, yeah, I still don't know what the hell was up with that, but it's, it's just one tab that we removed and just placed it in OBS itself. Well, we can also keep an eye on it. <clears throat> uh, Again, it was strange how it messed up. Like, it messed up in a way that it shouldn't be possible. Yeah, and it worked for like multiple months before then. Either way, enough techno babble. Let's actually start the game on the story mode. And we're not. Mm, it would be tempting to start New Game Plus for the fun of it. But let's just start fresh. We'll lose all save progress, yes. And great, it's starting off on hard immediately. Let's, let's see. Hmm. Is this the game telling me that is this the game doing a judgment on me based on my previous playthrough? <laughs> or is it just saying uh stop being a worse CMT? Really you are you trying to put me... Oh, wait. I completed it on that difficulty. Can... Okay. True West, then. I think... <laughs> yes, I've played for this game multiple times. Alibine, Kansas, 1910. Subtitles, I think. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir. It would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true. Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. I 
that scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Okay. okay, first thing first. Every voice actor is a veteran. I recognize every single one. But probably sorry, as usual, don't know their names. Uh, yeah, this I game is fun. Yeah, I only recognize this that every voice actor I heard are, is a veteran. They have been in the in this profession for years. And still at it. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. Glad to see you made it out alive, cowboy. You think you're tough enough for the true West? Or you're a real gunslinger who can fight with all those modern doodads like huds and crosshairs? Then go it for it, okay? It was mocking you earlier. You've been awarded experience for collected nuggets of truth. Okay. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. And I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb mode again. Uh, let's see. Audio subtitles on. Uh, yeah, let's see how <laughs> let's see how well I do or how much I get my ass kicked. Also, let's turn that on. Free. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead. Let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had hey, this funny bro. feeling. Is it funny? Ha -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Uh, thank you. This timing of the sneeze and. Oh, shut down three. What the heck did you think that was? It, it used to get pixelated at the wrong moments. It was wrong. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. But I, I have to say, it, it was pixelated at the worst time of moments. So I was unsure if that was a tree or a burning horse. Okay, then. <laughs> so you die real quick in this. <laughs> okay, I, I might turn it back down. Yeah, do that. I feel like it, it's not much of a showcase if you're gonna die all the time. Yeah. Like, okay, like three shots we can take. Uh, can we? Can we change it in here somewhere? I don't somewhere? think you can. Yeah, let, let's just right at the start, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Also, so the intro is in 1910. I really saw, saw a video of something that happened in 1919. Yes. Uh, let's see. Something about molasses. Okay. Uh, skip this bit. Always nice to have a hold to skip, because that way yeah. you can't accidentally skip. Uh, let's see, what was it now? Uh, you, you know what molasses is, right? Uh, some sort of... It was about 30 years ago. ...jam-ish thing. Uh, Billy was hiding out in an abandoned there. farm near Stinkin' okay. Springs. Uh, and I in threw in boss? with the kid because the man oh. I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when he suddenly even when we I had it. this funny feeling. Funny, ha ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Okay, go ahead. But I was seeing they have a massive, massive silo of molasses, which was basically syrup. We had to paint brown due to it, it was badly built and it was leaking. It was about to contain 1.5 millions of gallons of it. Is this about the molasses flood? Yes. 
Uh, yes, people. As you can guess from that name, it, it burst. And it moved buildings. And some people, not many, was it like 25 people or something died and 100 people got injured severely. And apparently someone tried to pull someone out and someone arm and the arm popped off. Okay. Even the horses got stuck. Yeah, it would basically be a, like a flood of glue. Yeah, just then again, an idiot of massive amount of... need to stay here to keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the... I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? Here. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. They're coming from the rear! Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out. Hey, so that's just what I did. Stay on it! As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Okay, so simple for you to shoot. But this game looks already interesting, but I'm not seeing a concern. The fact that Silas is probably going to be talking it over you the whole thing. He's going to be talking to us both at all time. True. Oh no, I can't stop thinking about what it looks like. Image. Reach the water when you need it. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to do something there. Oh dear. Right, I was saying, image of what people report to see a 15 feet tall wave of flashes coming at you. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Still, one of them reached the water tower. There we go, need to lean, They're pressing the opposite way. Bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. How you doing? Damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay, did it put it back to hard? I'm pretty sure I selected easy. Uh, you, uh, you might select it normal, or do you select hard? That was a mistake. My position is very important. <laughs> Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, darling. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, there isn't much... There isn't much of a weapon for any more saddle game. tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Damn you! Okay, gotta keep mo oh. moving. Load this thing. Sensitivity is still a bit high. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! Back door. We got we'll you. cover you! Try aiming, you idiot! Watch your plan! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog. But I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, You're I was inside. Dead, you None the worse for wear. <laughs> I passed oh, dirty grave. Deader than a rat in a And upstairs I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. Baldry? Never heard of that one. What as a whip? What? Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Men were 
dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. Yeah, yeah we, we would That's be. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. The game is going to be talking over us a lot, but honestly, I, I think the game is too much fun to really blame it for that. Because, like with Bastion, the narration is like half the game, or half the fun of it at the very least. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's like playing Dungeons 2. The narrator is part of the fun. But that's the same. Yeah, the game has the same narrative as Stanley Parable. What's his name? I, I wonder. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy. And maybe discretion is the better part of Ella. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. So they've got the thing far away. Can't shoot I that. that order in me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? Big miss. Those would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, where was I? You were heading for the bar. Right. Making my way past a passel of fallen foes. If I recall correctly, this thing, the Ranger, deals more damage, but fires slower. Because it, with the normal six shooter, like we would have been able to get all of them. <laughs> Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these heifers and bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. Uh, yes, I, I'm aware that there's a and that's thing in the I corner there. Sheriff Pat Garrett. I, I read that, that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. First thing he does is drop his star. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. And now a different thing. Uh yeah, duels. We need to keep this guy in focus. We need to keep our opponent in focus and wait for them to draw. And yeah, not die. And that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reach those damn stables. Get the horses this time for real. And stepped inside, and bam! Uh, last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. Oh bloody heck, this was a, I, I I know I heard an especially many times in many Western related media. Okay, let's take a little look here. We got a level from all of that. And yeah, this game is very arcadey, but with an actual story going on and a good story as well. And yeah, we we can we can get our hands on skill points. 
upgrades, well, we can put it into the skill trees. We have the ranger with the long range, we have trapper with close range, and then we have gunslinger for, well, dual wielding. And what would be, what is more Wild West than dual wielding? So let's get that right at the start. Uh, let's see, longer combos, uh, more revolver capacity. Uh, let's get that. On the run, reload while sprinting, lonely. Improve agility and concentration. Be quick as Grace Lightning, you'll be able to move around 50%. Yes. Okay. Engraved Ranger unlocked with that. And we can, well, due to the tr nuggets of truth that I found through the game, which are collectibles, uh, I didn't actually know that it would give you extra levels at the start. Uh, more damage and concentration, dynamite looting, more concentration on the bar, extra damage for combos. And there we go, Ivory Hand Quick Shooter. Okay, still got two more, might as well just throw up the first one here. Yeah, trying to speak. I don't need about. Like, the Western had actually a lot of uh, different rifles, guns, up, but many of them were experimental or just attempt to make a um, product unique, but to know it to be a disaster. Like, worst case scenario, a gun that fell apart after the first two shots. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to. Bastard had clocked me with his coat. Episode one continues. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. After stinking springs, but the kid and Silence Greaves end up in, a, in jail. They remain there until the spring. So, probably some months. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. <laughs> I have to say this. Since you said he was with a cult, it he means he John knew. Kenny's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean-ass shotgun. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's the only gun that gets this introduction. <laughs> I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? Hell yeah. That scatter gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. Guards were everywhere looking for it. Anybody see him? This way? I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could. Some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. And suddenly, I was a fugitive. How the hell? Ah! Yep. Not that way. Oh, follow up. Wait, what I was trying to say earlier was... Since he mentioned it was a cult, it means... He knew it was a quality gun for... If he was a... Just a average revolver we've said robot. If a gun is good, it will be called by its name. The cold model, basically. Yeah, this way. 
<laughs> completely different. Apparently. So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. This town doesn't have a moment's faith. Okay, we picked up a pistol somewhere. For that. I don't remember popular yeah. models. I think it was called M. Winchester. Apparently, so it's been pretty old. Cole is pretty old. Oh, yeah. And it was known for being a quality model. He's in town somewhere. See, me and the kid shared a certain similarity in build and color. I was there. just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. Sweet, sweet. They almost shot that. So <laughs> much face. lead was whizzing by my head. It was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Oop. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. We prize them too high, if you ask me. <laughs> He's just being an old man yelling about horses. Oh dear. <laughs> but where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. Got that son of a bitch! So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. There you are. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. As well. They all thought I was Billy. And all that flame would fall on him. Damn it, get a good shot there. Keep advancing. Damn it, he's reloaded. Okay, it, it is cool to double <laughs> to double deal with these, but it does take forever to reload them again. It does make sense for it is two guns. Oh, two revolvers. There. I, I think the game got put back on hard. Go for this complete side area. Actually, is there anything we can see here about where these nuggets of truth are? No, oh, I'm actually missing only two. <laughs> okay. And I probably could have gone through a lot more cover going through the side streets, and they're going to need a bunch of these coffins. Stables on the edge of town. I guess Billy saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. Which I left so we stood <laughs> there the in the middle corner. of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Okay. Uh, 
mean, yeah, focus we get by well focusing, and speed we get by hold, getting our hand close. Yep. But that can also happen. Draw. <laughs> but you can lean away as well there, I think. Uh, yes. Focus is how much we will be zoomed in when we get our shots, and speed is how quickly we can draw, I believe. Would have been nice to have the tutorial on that again. Maybe I can see about turning that back on. I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Everyone? Well, you mean all the corpses? Lincoln got a mighty depopulated that day. Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. <coughs> and <laughs> looks like I'll have to. I have pretty much all of the nuggets of truth. I'm not sure how I found all of those, and we didn't get a skill point there. Okay. Uh, how much time do we have left? Three minutes. Uh, let's keep going a bit more. I I stopped this. I restarted the timer. When we, so where'd well, you we go started. after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clan himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Bullet for the Old Man. The Cowboys were a huge outlaw gang led by Old Man Clanton. Curly Bill and Johnny Ringo were two of his most deadly pistoliers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This would all mean a lot more, or a lot more of this would be recognized by people in the States, but as seeing as we are both European, we are a lot less familiar with it. <laughs> so was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for Old Man Clown. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! I did my best to help those poor men. Keep shooting over their shoulder. Moments <laughs> later, the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attacked from on high like Apaches often did. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground, or whatever else they had. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to it. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clan's cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. Yeah, silence isn't the most reliable See, of narrators. Time, I was still pretty green, but often blunder in regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo. But I knew he was with the Calvary. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to fight my way past these other assholes first. Okay, the stream timer is going not, not the stream timer, but when the half hour marker is going off. So once this bit is over, 
was running out of ammo. And Another some of the other ammo example drops. of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Yeah, it, it actually ate away like 10 rounds from our <laughs> spare ammo there. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed Snap. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Okay, let's just get in here. Okay, if we'd looked that way before, we probably would have seen a, a solid stone wall. Because, yeah, th this is, we are playing as the story being retold. So, what Silas says will actually affect things, or even rewind things, as we saw earlier. Interesting. So, yeah, the only major complaint for the streaming that we would have is the fact that Silas is just talking so much that we wouldn't have much time to talk ourselves. <laughs> yeah. This can be associated with a major issue. But uh, yeah, I, I still want to stream this game because it is a lot of fun. Maybe I can see about resetting the tutorials as well. But yeah, I'd say a yes on this, but uh, what would you make it? A maybe? Or a maybe, maybe a... yes. It depends how, like, it, there are moments like where we can talk like uh, in the screen and we do the skill levels and all that. But uh, yeah, it depends how much he talks. Like if it gets worse. Oh. Mm -hmm. The dialogue is good, people. Don't get me wrong. The dialogue is good. By worse, I mean if it gets even more talkative. Uh, yes, he does. So, hmm. oh. Maybe maybe we uh, put a an asterisk on there that uh, we can do that on times when you are unavailable for streams. I I still be wanna be there to enjoy the show. Okay. Just uh, we won't be able to commentate as much. Yeah, which will make a refreshing change. We can make we can mostly just riff on whatever is happening instead of um, <laughs> instead of trying to commentate normally. And, uh, yeah, I think you people can see why I want to not be on this for the whole pre-stream. Yeah, at 90... Okay! I'm surprised you got this uh, old thing working. Yeah, it was mostly the OBS stats thing that was messing with it, I think. It is just working, well, normally, uh, from an ISO file, which basically spoofs a CD for a bit. And, uh, yeah, this is Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, so... Okay, uh, let me test a little something, because I did notice an odd thing whilst I did a test on this, as that in... during one transition... Stream Deck, do your freaking job. Give me a second. <coughs> okay. Uh, is it just stuck or something? Again with this, as in it is showing one of the one folder on the uh, stream deck, but it's actually on something else. So if I press this here, there we go. Oops. Wait, that was set to the wrong thing. What the heck? Was... Uh, what are you trying to do? to turn off and on the uh, the source for this because during one tr when it transitions to the first area the recording got caught but it, when I when I disabled it and re-enabled it it started working again let me just what happened source visibility what why the hell did that change to that I was set that to the, a different one. Okay, and then this one. Okay, why did it? Why did both of these change to the command uh, to the commando source? And 
but not this one. Okay, that was just bizarre. Let me test it again. Okay, it's there. Batman red lines. Yeah, that's from just from OBS having the source selected. Okay, there. Okay, that should fix whatever might happen. I will have to stitch the recordings of this together, but oh well. Timer. Here I am, Pismo Beach. Hey, wait a minute. This doesn't look like Pismo Beach. I probably should have turned right at Albuquerque and... Ooh, look at the size of this carrot juice dispenser. And so Bugs manages to get himself well, lost in time, as this title says. There. Okay, once the transition from here to this to this level, that is when the recording would catch or would get stuck for a moment. So I will likely just have to undo and redo the source for a second. So here goes. This looks only familiar. There it got caught. Now, uh, there we go. where the heck am I? Maybe the person who lives in the silo will tell me where I'm at and how to get out of being at here. Come right in. How do you do? My name is Merlin, and I'm a sorcerer. Yeah? Really? A sorcerer? Come on, let me see a sorcerer. Huh? Please, please? Of course. Anything to oblige a guest. <laughs> you know, that's a good trick, Moyle, old Goyle. Can you do this one? That gave him a hobby, but I still ain't nearer to my natural habitat. Uh, sorry to interrupt this entertaining demonstration, but uh, can you tell me where I am? It seems that you are lost in time, my dear. Here, it's nowhere. Nowhere? And do you know how I could get back to uh, somewhere? Of course I know. You must go from one era to another and find symbols like this. They will open you new locations and will progressively lead you back to present time. All right, listen carefully, Rabbit. Get ten of these objects to receive a clock symbol. That's it for now. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. I think some. I see some texture error there. Uh, yeah, that that wasn't there earlier. But uh, yeah, this game <laughs> is old. Yeah, it's from the PlayStation era, and it no, it's a 3D platformer as we can see, and this area. Access the tutorial. Yeah, so from 1999. Yep, we have played older, I think. 1998, I think the oldest has been. Yeah, and the, the, the further back you go, the higher you risk you make run to games that no longer can be read uh, at all by a disc reader. Yeah, unless you download special isn't... programs. This isn't using a disc, it's using basically the data of a disc copied online and well it's it is made to think the computer is made to think that it is uh, currently in a dvd drive or such so it has less chance of failing due to disk errors but it is still old and well we did see we did all see the text error there and also in the health at the top represented by Keras of course uh, those were supposed to be orange not white i know there was white carrots but i don't think bugs would like those yeah, and they used to be purple. Yep. <clears throat> to avoid awakening someone, use the sneak action. It can also be used on fragile grounds. And, yeah, those flashes are going to be at each of these. Uh, I very, very, very much hope that isn't enough to be an epileptic trigger. Or I'm going to have to cover those every time Merlin pops up here. And I just got a red flash. Yeah, red and white I... for a frame each, I believe. <clears throat> I 
And yeah, I've already played a bit and messed around with the controls because, well, it's a PlayStation port. Of course, it's going to be messy with the port, with the controls. Get a bit closer. There we go. <laughs> All right, next one. Jump and press the dive action over a rabbit hole to get under the ground. To exit, reach a hole and jump. It wouldn't be a Bugs Bunny game. Yeah, a single frame or just a full red flash there. It, it is a bit annoying. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this game emulated? Now it is ported, so yeah, that could count as emulation. It, it is. You can see that, that it's talking about the PC controls. So it is a port. Go. That's how we get back out. All right. Yep. And yeah, <laughs> those break if we walk too over them too fast. Uh, luckily, there isn't really a life system. You can just keep going as long as needed. You can pick up objects and throw them to enemies. You can also pick them up, move them, and drop them somewhere else. Yeah, basic item uh, puzzles. Doesn't want to. Okay. There we go. For some reason, Bugs didn't want to pick it up while standing in front of it. Okay. And yeah, the picking up carrots gives us, well, carrots, but it also restores our health, of course. Bounce on some enemies to reach inaccessible objects or ground. And it wouldn't be a platformer without bouncy platforms. Uh, typical stuff, if we pull down jump on them, we go higher. And, well, we can, <laughs> we can Mario these guys. And do that. <laughs> oh dear. You can use objects like mallets to bust an enemy, but do it fast. It works for a short time. Okay, pick that up. Come up, there we go. And it's a bit picky. There we go. Another one of these. And yeah, very obviously the clock it <laughs> indicates how long we have. You can move some objects using the push action. They can be used as a step to reach a too high ground or object. And yeah, the music here is droning, I'll say. Okay, just push this along. We can pick these up by walking to them and pressing the action key. We can jump with them. Still a good height, but not enough to get up here. So we'll just drop one off, grab another. And get up there, bugs. There we go. Okay, only now notice that these change if you once you get the carrots. Okay. While you're running, try the roll action. It can be used as an attack against enemies. Okay, the roll button was... I, okay, I changed that to S. Use the jump or kick action to defeat some enemies. Combine both actions for some other one. Okay. Okay. And that's how we deal with them. If you can't hurt an enemy when he's facing you, try to kick his behind. It could work. You could also try to tire him out first. When he stops, kick his behind, bunny. <laughs> there we go. And another carrot gun. Okay, I'm, I have to say I'm interested in streaming this game. 
hesitant. Yeah. Then again, I, I don't like Bugs Bunny. And uh, what were you to say? I accidentally interrupted you. Uh, it, it's mostly for the sequel, actually, Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. To land on explosive objects like TNT boxes without injuries, use the HEARS action to softly land on it. Did he say HEARS or EARS? I heard HEARS. I don't show myself now! But, yeah, jump, you use the crouch button. I've changed things up that uh, instead of the mangled, mangled collection of buttons that it has before, that it, they're in a, a pattern of 2x3 on the uh, A, S, D, Z, Z, X, and C buttons. Hold on. Okay, sparking object up there. Okay, this is the tutorial for climb. For some reason, Merlin doesn't show up here him, themse no, himself, yeah. And, you know, we already saw what happens when we jump into the water by, by accident. <laughs> okay. There he goes. Get up this thing. And that's our first clock. Should be. Let's see. Ten carrots. Hmm. Okay, where's the clock then? And, yeah, very obvious draw <laughs> distance stuff here. Those <laughs> those propeller hats we can use for checkpoints. And I'm guessing we just need to go back inside because that's the only thing we can do. Pick this one up to start your quest. It opens the Stone Age era. Get in and there, choose one of the opened entrances. Visit all of them and get back all the hidden clocks they contain. Great! Thanks, Moyle. Anything else? Uh, yes. Of course, picking up carrots will raise up your energy. That's it for now. We'll probably meet again somewhere in time. Time traveling is one of my favorite hobbies. I'll teach more later, time traveler. Goodbye! Yeah, goodbye, Moyle! Okay, I hope that audio getting caught off isn't going to become a Collecting constant thing. Collecting symbols. Well, why not? After all, they laughed at the man when he discovered the penicillin. Okay, that's a bit of a, <laughs> that's a, bit of a reaching joke. Was penicillin discovered by accident? The new modern one was. Okay, it, it looks like every time it transitions, you know, from here, from here to somewhere else, or back to here, that the recording loses connection. And yeah, we have different ages for which we have required different amount of clocks. Five here, fifteen here, forty there, and then twenty there, and thirty here. So a bit odd that they're not in order. But for now, let's head to the Stone Age and, well, <laughs> one of one of Bugs' most known rivals. Okay, it didn't. So it's only to nowhere and back, maybe? Okay. Or is it going to be f into a, a world specifically that is going to change? And yeah, as with any collectathon, we need to collect items to not only open up new worlds, but also new levels. And we start off with this one, Rabbit on the Run. Today's hunt is Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, dog? Wabbit, Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. Okay, it is on the entrance of every level, it seems. But, yeah, very obvious texture missing. Hey! Okay, that, that is going to be annoying, but it's not going to be game-breaking. 
Did the comms game breaking? Uh, if it were to come to that, we could just cancel the streams of this game and see if <laughs> if a Time Busters has any better uh, hope of running. I suspect Time Busters is not as old as this one. It's uh, a year or two younger, I believe, or maybe... It wasn't the 2000s at the very least, I think maybe 2003? Uh, 2003 should give it the better odds. Or again, the older the game, the higher risk with issues. Yeah. To uh, plan out not working at all, to your antivirus may accidentally mistake a very, very old game for a virus. Yeah. I could take I could take a look with uh, the PC gaming wiki to see if they have anything that, on any mistakes I, on any errors I was trying to go I was trying to go for the hover but not that there we go Bugs, why did you do that? I, I'm pretty sure they didn't even hit the button. Wait, are you? Okay, I'm not even sure now, and... <laughs> okay, the, the carrot jump out of the ground from it hitting. Okay, that is neat. We need to be little and then kick. Okay, let's get some health back. And overall, I wouldn't say that this game is a masterpiece or anything, but it is charming from what I remember. Which might, of course, be uh, very rose tinted. Uh, you mean childhood nostalgia? Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's not really hitting it. Okay. Then again, it might be too... I actually found him to be quite annoying. Yeah, the Looney Tunes aren't for everyone. Let's <laughs> say that. Okay. Can turn the camera around a bit. <laughs> that that's already our next level unlocked. Let's see. Okay, I see what is happening. Bugs is jumping automatically when she hits a ledge. Okay. So when I was actually pressing jump in the air, or some button in the air, it made him dive immediately. Because he already auto-jumped. Go. Okay, that so it sounds like a double-edged sword that you auto jump. Yep. Yeah, it's also a thing in Minecraft since somewhat recently, and I have to say I I'm pretty annoyed with it there as well. Okay. Yeah. Again, a double-edged sword. The situation where it's yeah. damn useful, and other ones it can actually just cause more problems. Especially if you're used to jumping and not the, not the being an auto jump. Yeah. But then right. the other one is more of a issue of habit. Go. Hidden claw. And also, not so much hidden carrot here. Okay, might get on his head. There we go. And just send them flying. <laughs> oh. Okay, we also could have lured them under the anvil there. I completely missed the shadow of that. And yeah, let's not accidentally kill ourselves on a cactus. Yeah, don't do that. And I just, I think I just remembered the. the some characters have. Uh, no more tolerance than other, but there's one character in Looney Tunes I 
dislike the most. That was not intended. And who would that be? That's the skunk. The skunk. The one that kept harassing a cat. So he thought it was a fellow skunk. I forget if he is a Looney Tune or. He, I think he is a Looney Tune, though. He's the one of them that I think they actually abandoned due to. Yeah. Let's be honest. He's a character that will not work in modern day, and already back in the day, even I, as a kid, found him just way too creepy and disrespectful and all that. I just felt. He just annoyed me. He, he, he is a Looney Tune. I always thought he was something else. <laughs> But yeah, Pepe Le Pew would get me too to hell and back. <laughs> okay. Like, I feel like he could have been a fun character, but just the way all his episodes were, just no. Okay, we can't reach him. We, uh, we can't reach up there, but we can bounce off Elmer <laughs> to get up here. Okay. Now we're going to get a bit tricky with these two, I think. Just gotta jump on this one first. Yeah. Yes, remember, I think there's one Loon Duo character I actually somewhat like. Okay, and who would that be? Taz. <laughs> yeah, Taz is easy to like. Okay. Yeah, at least to a degree. Though, I don't know, know any other, so that, like, Daffy was a very hit and miss. Yeah, da Daffy is, uh, <laughs> Daffy is very much hit and miss, depending on uh, your likes and such. Uh, I hear that a lot of people liked the new Looney Tunes show, the one that is basically a, uh, a cul-de-sac air setting, but... I, I have to say what I saw of it, and I watched a decent few episodes, it didn't really click for me. Uh, Hill? Hmm? I think it stopped recording the game. Okay, so, so it's... it's level you and me moving normally, but it... Okay, now it's back. Okay, so it is on level entry and exit and some transitions. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's... It, it is easily fixed since I have it just tied to a button at the moment. But, yeah. And probably is... Sure, the solution is easy. Probably is... We need to pay attention to it. Yeah, but now I luckily did notice it. But still... Like, yeah, sure, I occasionally interrupt you by accident. Dude, I can't see your face, I can't see even your lips move in the same way as in real life. But that means also when I try to not interrupt you if you're talking between levels. Yeah, that can cause a lot of time. Yeah. And now it's the tip of Max's uh, ears that is untextured for some reason. Uh, oh dear. Okay, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm starting to join you on maybe. Uh, under the condition I'm, I'm that we can no. find some fixes. I'm leaning much more no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh no, no, I think. Pterodactyl? Oh dear. I feel like if it had been a TAS game, if there even are any, probably are, I'm gonna be more open, but I just don't feel bugs. Okay, uh, like I said, there is the sequel to this is uh, Bugs Bunny and TAS, Time Busters. And I do know he had at least one solo game called TAS Wanted, though I don't think I've ever seen gameplay of it nor have I played it. I know where to get the files for it, though. As wanted. Why am I not surprised? But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll put on the condition of 
pick, finding a fix for that, uh, yeah, losing contact with it. And whatever to fix. Good, but you left some stuff behind you. Oh, oh even text is missing? Okay. Let me save your position. Thanks, Moyle. Is he getting... Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. It's just, it's constantly switching what is glitched and what is not, because now his ears are back to normal. I feel like this is a red flag. Then again, he has to give us red flashes. This probably is a red flag, uh, literally. Yeah. Almost literally. So I am very hesitant about, about oh bloody heck. Yeah, I, I'm leaning heavily on no, for I feel like this thing might this is bite us. Scene. Wait, what? Check on their speed. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm putting yeah. this on. I'm putting this on a no as well. Turning it into a maybe if we can fix <laughs> fix all of this. It it is an old game, so it is to be expected that there would be glitching like this. But it is getting a bit much. Yeah, like, at least it, it gives us something that it, it is getting a bit concerning, like, what else might break? True. Okay, for now though, we are moving on to what I'll say is more game 2.5 for today, because, yeah, this... This is a neat little game, but it's not really stream material, but I'll still show it off. And, well, it's, it's one of the games we tried to show off last time, Cats in Time. Now actually, well, working with OBS, now that it doesn't widescreen anymore. And, yeah, this is basically a, a pretty light puzzle game so far. Uh, let's see, we have these different eras that we can go to, and the objective is to, well, find the cats. So, let's just jump into here. I'm not even going to start the timer. We'll give this uh, 10 minutes or so before moving on. And this, this is basically just a chill game. Just find the cats. Some of them are going to be out in the open like this. Find puzzles to solve. Let's see. Okay, that... Let's see, you go there. You go over there, you go there. Okay, these these can get a bit more tricky, typically. Oh, oh dumb. Two, three, four. And we get an onk. Okay, and there's an onk shape right next to this one. And there's another cat. And there's a pirate wheel here. Not, not a pirate wheel, a... Okay. You mean a sheep wheel? Yeah. Uh, what is with the glow there? Okay. Do we need to... Okay, we can We need something to be able to do that. And there's another cat in the out, the o out in the open. And there's another one. And we have some another puzzle. Go up there. Okay, pretty simple so far with these. Another, another cat. And let's see, there's something here. Okay, a grid and one right next to it. And cat. Uh, fishing rods. Okay, what is this facing up then? Okay, <laughs> achievement fisherman, really? And we have... Okay, some sort of fragment there. I've found multiple of those in the previous two levels, but I haven't been able to find all of them in an area. Here we have another wheel. Which raises the anchor. Okay. Now then, we have fish. Put fish there, send this thing up. Bring it 
back down, and there's Cat. And of course, no more fish. Well, not much of a fish. Okay. I oh, think that's all of them in this lower area. So, where will the remaining ones be up here? Uh, what is with... Okay, we need to... Okay, we're going to need to put all of these down to activate some sort of mechanism. Yeah, I can see what you mean. This is not a streaming game, but I can see YouTubers play it. But streaming, no. Okay, it's locked in there. I did see an anchor shape here. So let's just put that thing in. Entirely. There's number eight. Now, where is number nine then? We have the one in here. Uh, I'm not. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> That's how we get that one. And. Oh. Oh, s sneaky. <laughs> the other cat is just on the other side. There we go. All cats found. Next level. Easy to Little explore. fluff sheeps. Oh, but they, but how do you describe these cats? Uh, fluffy, chunky. Chunky, fluffy. Chunky. Fluff balls? Also works. Uh, let's see. Connect the lines together here, I'm guessing. Yep. It moves it and reveals something down here. Okay. Moon, sun. It's going oh, over there. Change these to moon and sun. Or... Okay, that's probably for this one since it's the same color. Moon and sun. We have a little lever here. Okay, the, looks like... Okay, that opened this up, I'm guessing. Or the one that we did here. Oh, and there's another pattern visible here. Which uh, is... Also... I had to say this. Uh, sorry, go on. Hmm. Okay, that, and it's the other one on this. Uh, okay. okay. I say I like the attention details for Egyptians and Greeks did paint the houses, so it was most likely houses were painted like this instead of just uh, sandstone colored. Even the pyramids were colored. So that was more they have marble and granite on the outside. Yeah. A lot of ancient you know, statues used to be painted. Which people don't realize. So we found a ball. Okay, that's probably oh, yeah. over here. Again, the only reason is the pyramids don't have the marble outer layer and granite is, well, they kept stealing from uh, the older pyramids and, they, and later they even other cultures stole the outer layers to build churches and mosques and what not. Yeah. <laughs> Napoleon, the school stole the golden tips of the pyramids. Wouldn't be along too with, surprised. Along nice. with, I think what, the, okay, I might be wrong with this one, but I think it was even Napoleon's men who shot off the noses of the Sphinxes. Can't say I know anything about that. I, I don't think it's known who, how the nose came off at all. Yeah, so far, I don't think he did it to all of them, but he may. Have, there might be that he might be responsible for maybe one or two of them. Go another one. Houses are getting a bit more tricky, and this is one of those plates, or whatever they are. Lever. Right, yeah, let's call it after this one is done. Ooh. Another puzzle revealed. 
Okay, they aren't all going to be simple. But still, not much of a, a stream thing, I'd say. Yeah, like, again, I can see people placing this up on YouTube, but then remove, uh, you know, movements where they are stuck. Oh, I, oh no, I see what's going on here instead. We need to complete... Uh -huh. There, I that's see. how we get the second one. Okay, with that we unlock this other one. Turn it the other way. Okay, two more to go still. We have this thing for somewhere. Yeah, you have about two minutes. Wait. Oh, sneaky. There we go. Um, that one about in the middle. That one on the side, that one about there, and that one fully across, and there's another one of our naughty giddies. Okay. Then I... Okay, that is trying to open, but it can't. We still need something for this, but there isn't... There isn't a double squig... Oh wait, there is a double squiggle. Okay, and if we put that there, and there we go. Ten cats. Okay, we could stay and look for more of those plates, of which I just spotted the glitter of this one here. I have absolutely no idea what these are for. But uh, yeah, a little... Yeah, not, not a little, little game, a neat little game. So, yeah. Little... <laughs> It's only like you almost try to say Swedish to a little. I guess. Uh, let's see. And yeah, the next game on the oh. list. Uh, actually, before uh, no, was it before? Okay, after this one it would be. Uh, yeah, we're we're going to skip this one quick as well uh, because I'm pretty sure this game has been in alpha or beta for uh, like five years or so. I learned of this game first from. Uh, the Yonks cast trying it out, and the base of it is pretty neat, but it is also very uh, shallow from what I recall. Yeah, Basically, it, it, this it, game it, is Minecraft with more of a ma kingdom management system. Yeah, we did recently get a massive update, which I thought, all right, maybe it's a bit more exciting. Like, there's a lot of I like about the game, but the biggest disappointment about this game, I feel like, is... But when you see the your units like stand guard to defend this at the town they do nothing you just see a projectile fall while they stare at the zombies that's a different uh yeah just starting a new world with this and we might as well put this thing down immediately there we but go but yeah i feel like it would be exciting if there were a bit more animations to your uh, characters and I bought and there were also mentioned more mob variety I thought all right at least they maybe have more monsters it's just risky like some zombies have hats some have uh, mohawks though even the zombies I feel like were more lively animated than your NPCs uh, yeah, it, it is a very simple game. Doesn't make it exactly a bad game, but it does make it well not as interesting compared to other things. Uh, yeah, no, it is. See. It is very popular. Many do love it. I, I can see the show in it. I do see the show in it, and it is moddable. Just I thought after all these years, they at least given more animation. But yeah, we are basically a, 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 a wandering king. We can put down our banner to start a colony. Then we need to put down beds to lure in colonists. Mm. Lure in colonists? Okay, we can place things with right click. We can break things with left click. And yeah, let me just... I forget if we need to do anything more at the moment to get people headed for this place. And yeah, I'm just going to dig a quick little moat around all of this. 
You, wait, you don't know... How, oh, excuse me, you don't know how to get the NPCs. Let's see. The banner is the center of your colony. Place it by clicking on the ground. Let's do the selected. Bandit 2 displays a deep shadow. Place beds to be able to recruit. Press I to... In, okay, drag to the tab. Open the interface. Go to the colony. Okay, recruit. Okay. Uh, uh, dear, you didn't know, did you? Yeah, I forgot. I... <laughs> Okay, we can recruit 12 people here. Yeah, I have played this game before, but that was a good while ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, we I have a sapling. I myself, I knew do to YouTube. Like, what's a main episodes in the past? I thought, this, okay, this is early access. Plenty of time to do more things. And recently, I started watching it all, all right? Impressive of many things they realized. Wait, what? That's that's all I did with the zombies. It just it's only new zombies, not new monster touch, just more zombies with different outfits. And I saw the units where they're now bows and muskets. Only difference they get is different shirt color. You don't see them. Using the musket or slings, although you see the prior tide magically flew out from them. Yeah. And uh, that that very much killed me. For I thought, like, after all these years, the only animation they have is the walk animation. I don't know. It just made me feel so disappointed for again. I had high hopes for this game. And you see, after all these years, it's... It's like that? Really? Yeah, I, I guess similar to Minecraft, you kind of have to rely more on the modders for content than the actual creators. <laughs> Provided the modders get enough tools to do it, there's also that. Sun is, uh, the sun is going down already. Oh, uh, this? The concept is awesome. The build stones for this game is awesome, just... Base game is not as interesting. More of the... I feel like they should... Uh, the, the same put more effort feels rude to say just... With more life? There we go. I think that did that. There we go. Right click and right click again. Okay, then we need some... Okay, th this one became a berry farmer. Then we put down... Yes, then we put down a crate. Oh, he's, he's actually growing more. Put that down there, and he should drop off all of his stuff in here. I didn't know they would grow stuff like this. Or oh, they will. Uh, let's see what else is with this game. I know they're doing things that you can expand your build zone, the safety zone where nothing spawns, and all that. And even build characters that build for you, and such. But still, it still feels. I don't know about that. Hello. I, I just feel like again they did a massive rework on it, of it, but it still feels like like I'm impressed for what they have done with some of the things, but in many areas I feel like really. You haven't done nothing else? That's all you did? Of the all these years? Like, I give them some... Some slacks that we have had a pandemic. But this has been early access many years before the pandemic to begin with. Yeah. And uh, looks like we're not getting any zombies yet. Yeah. Let me the put down some of these. Yeah. The yeah, you, yeah, you're gonna need way more people before the zombies come in. I think around past 25. But they changed that. So it's a bit more forgiving at the beginning. 
Yeah, since we don't start with a weapon at all either. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. The only reason I think like they have so ridiculous amount of minimalistic animations is due to you can have more than one thousand uh, NPCs and more than one colony. Let's see. Is this how much they make or try to maintain? Because it is a bit. It is interesting with this game to. Oh, okay, those weren't. <laughs> those weren't in the game last time that I played. How a bunch of years back. Let's see. They need stone tools. Okay. And they're we're out of meals, so I'm guessing people are going to start leaving the colony. Pretty sure they had 20 berries for foods, so it means that a bunch of people ate double. Oh well. Yeah, you need to build something, a workstation, so they can uh, cook meals. Yeah, we've got one... We've got uh, one berry farm going at the moment, so that should make some meals each day. No, 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 no. You need a special a workstation to make it into a bowl of berries. Okay. It might oh, you be have this it. one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that that's that's a different uh, preset. Like you can put uh, so each table have uh, its uh, focus. Uh, that's a bit unnecessary. Do you, you don't need to put it next to the farm. You just need to check on it and tell it to make the berries. Okay. Oh, but Uh, do, you should have someone assigned to it to do it. Do, oh, yeah. You, you probably need more than one table. Uh, let's see. Let, let's give this five more minutes or so. Let's make another one of these. And put another one down here. So even if we don't... We can have one for our own, own, yeah, own personal use if need be. Actually, do I need no... Uh, Forester. Uh, let yeah. me just assign you to... Let's see. Yeah, uh, uh, so this. So this is 0 0.9. This, I think, just means it's soon 1.1 or 1.0. And I just hope they actually add a bit more animation so that the, the NBCs feel more alive and maybe... Something more than just zombies. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing mods put in a bunch of extra stuff that, like that. Yeah. Do, I do like the idea of giving some mods. There is a point where this, you wonder, are they going to leave everything to the modders how to solve? Like, th th there is a point where it just feels like... They Start did not to bother up. to make a full game. I just left for yeah. modders to fix it. They don't do they're doing the most of the work. Because, okay, that's our forester. Because I don't know how um, I feel like. Like, in some games it's just fine, but... Uh, you, you get what I'm meaning here? Yeah. Uh, is anyone going to become a tinker or do I actively need to assign them? Because I don't see that as an option here. And I can't... Well, ask and I shall receive. Uh, actually, a bit, a bit better phrase it. If you game, it relies so heavily on modding to be fun. Was the base game even fun to begin with then? Let me just slap down a bunch of these so we'll have an overflow of things at least. And... Just filling the hole up. So we can push the wall out one, so it, they can just go around this. Also making a bit more space for another bed. Okay. What the heck is game? Again, I like a lot of its ideas, just... Okay, After all this in. time... I just hope that this massive rework will lead to... Then make it feel, feel a bit more alive. Uh, 
Uh, let's not have another one right next to our little thing there. Okay. Let's make a few more berry farms. Since they grow them themselves. I thought you had to go get the, uh, <laughs> the berry seeds to get them started. But... Yeah, also, there might be an optimized size preference. Like, if you can make it so you have three rows of berries to grow, yeah, like that's this. the biggest you need. So you can apparently make it um, so big that you actually are wasting space. Okay. This is going at a decent start so far. I'm guessing they're looking for foods. Okay, let me... Or they're, actually, I think they're move, all moving to uh, put it into a box like that. Yeah, you usually want a box near them. There. That should be close enough for them all. Actually, the berry farmers will also want one. So let me just put that there. I hope that doesn't it, but, mess with the farms. Greenwood does something similar. It doesn't have too much animation, but they have something that to at least spice it up. Like... Uh, when you read the text of what the heck the character did. Like and when it's... they fight and such. Now we're... It's science, we have pottery, we have smelter, we have wheat farming. Or... Oh, this is what we... Okay, is this what... We... Okay, that is available, but we... Yeah. You need to unlock them, you require a few things, like... Five stone rubble. Okay, but we have... Stone rubble. Or, no, we had stone rubble. Uh, hmm. Did they okay, get used to make tools or something? Probably. Okay, just dig out a bit more here. I thought that meant we, we already have those technologies. Wait, you have that in your toolbar. You need to put them in the in, in the inventory. Okay, that is a bit iffy, but oh well. Requires clay, requires planks. And there, and there. And we have mud bricks and clay. Okay, increases monster threat by ten. The merchants hub. Okay, buy and sell stuff, stone tools, beds, crown blocks, wheat farmer, and wheat gruel. And clay, uh, also, yep, that helped. Okay, I do like that this game just puts you completely in the dark, that it doesn't hold fake uh, lighting. Okay, but yeah, I think that's about the five minutes. I may give this game another shot on my own time. But for streaming, it's a bit of a no. Unless yeah. I get some people together and just me start messing around with it in multiplayer. Yeah, and maybe maybe mods? Like, you, you probably should investigate what kind of mods it has. So we know, like, sometimes there, there are games that have Steam Workshop mods that are... ...not actual mods. What the? Uh, okay. Just need to move it. This game doesn't want to go into windowed mode willingly, so I had to alt enter it there. And yeah. Company of Heroes 2. I will say to get to this one, I had to jump over two other possible entries. First off, being the Command and Conquer series, because most of the games I have are with that are actually in uh, physical form. I do have Red Alert 2 and Red Alert Jury's Re uh, Yuri's Revenge. What is Jury? <laughs> uh, I do have those on Origin, but they do not like people alt-tabbing at all. So if I were to play that game, as and I would really, really freaking want to play that game on stream, uh, I would have I would be completely unable to do any interactions on OBS to correct things unless I would down the save and restart the game 
uh, because trying to get it into windowed mode either just gives a black screen or completely screws up the graphics. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely putting that game and its expansion pack on a hard maybe. If uh, there is some way I can find to fix that. Or if we just agree that if there is an issue that needs to be handled or a bot needs to be banned, that'll need to save, close the game, and then start it up again. And yeah, the other one that I had to jump over, or more chose to jump over, was uh, the Commander Keen uh, complete pack. And that was more because uh, yeah, that, that would very likely be the absolute oldest game we've ever uh, played. And though it is functional, it isn't much interesting to stream, seeing it is from the era where all the story was just written down in a document in the game. Yeah, though, I feel like it's some of them you do see some of the story text in the game, like they do speak, but not really voice actors, but it's very, very basic. Uh, yeah, and well, as can be seen here, Company of Heroes 3 is currently in the work, but we are here for number two, so let's start the campaign. And we have the choice of, well, the Soviet campaign or the Ardennes Assault uh, DLC, which I don't think, oddly enough, these campaigns are counted as DLC to the main game, which is just the multiplayer only. Which, in a way, is interesting, I'd say. Um, yes, well, some of these games really are only played for the multiplayer, so to have the ability to not download the main campaign, it is a bit, it is a bit <laughs> odd, but it is an interesting and, well, since this game was 40 gigabytes, uh, also very good choice, I would say. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's start a new campaign. Let's see. Command the, so Red, the, command the Soviet Red Army as they fight to repel the Axis war machine. From the infamous Russian winter of 1941 to the fall of Berlin in 1945. Lead your troops to victory throughout the most lethal battle in human history. Uh, experience the conflict, heroism, and sacrifice of war on the Eastern Front. And let's do it on easy because... Uh, well... <laughs> uh, the last time we tried RTS, I... I managed to get through it in Impossible Creatures, but I did get my ass handed to me a lot. Wait. Oh, it is a real-time strategy. Okay. Wait, what? And it's even stranger that they had this to begin with. Timer starts. And yeah, I have to say I like Relic. They they also made the uh, Dawn of War games. Which we will stream. No excuse for deserting your post. You ordered them killed! The Red Army knows how to take care of his friends. I've ordered many deaths. Which specifically are you referring to? Lev Abramovich is which should have been found guilty of crimes against the state. The punishment is death. Well, it wouldn't be the Soviet Union without some fuckery going on. Okay, this is a bit too bright, but it's actually starting to hurt my eye a bit. Sorry for that. Yes! Same here, dude, again. My room is dark now due to the sun gone down. Hmm. Okay, corrective labor camp, Siberia, 1952. Yeah. Basically, a gulag. But actually, gulags are even worse. They're smaller than this. I come all the way from Moscow to this remote piss hole, and this is how you greet your old commanding officer. What do you want from me, Colonel? I wanted to show you something. 
recognize this. What you wrote on these pages could condemn a man several times over. But before that happens, comrade, first I need to know the truth. Stalingrad Rail Station, September 1942, Stalingrad, USSR. Germany and the USSR signed a pact of non-aggression before the invasion of Poland in 1939, but their alliance would be short-lived. In the summer of 1941, Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa, ordering 4 million German soldiers to invade the Soviet Union across a front spanning 3,000 kilometers. In the first, during the first months of Barbarossa, Stalin and his generals struggled to mount a defense. But soon the Germans had pushed too far into a vast nation protected by a massive army and a hostile winter. By the fall of 1942, the German army had reached Stalingrad, now Vol uh, Gograd, but the city was far from defenseless. Lev Iskovic, uh, Iskove, Is Isakovic, yeah, that would probably be it, met, uh, met thousands of conscripts on the shores of the Volga River, where he ushered them into the besieged city. The Red Army and Navy, with the whole Soviet people uh, and the whole Soviet people, must fight for every inch of Soviet soil, fight to the last drop of blood for our towns and villages, onward to victory. Joseph Stalin. There. those things make it still makes my hair the hair on my arm stand up Start off with just two squads, and yeah, like like other relic games, we have the cover system that we can send uh, our troops into. Okay, we need to well, support the tank, so we follow after it, or in their case, go in front of it. speed is a bit fast. You have to cover you dumbasses. Okay, you think that there would be more space for cover here, but yeah, it, it, well, there goes the tank. But it does give cover now. Okay, might have been a bad idea to take cover behind that thing. Okay, 
you let that oh, there. Dear. Yeah, you, this is very much going to be a war is hell story. Okay, now there's cover there. The time has come to push the fascists out of Stalingrad, comrades. Lieutenant Isakovich, you will lead the assault. Charge from the docks to the square. Once it's clear, we can bring in support to help crush the German armor that is sure to be waiting. The fascists are well dug in, but their persistence is no match for Soviet zeal and our overwhelming numbers. Do not be discouraged by a few losses. Kill these fascists and show no mercy. A few losses, fifty like percent. Yeah, the Soviet tactic at the time and the well, the, the currently ongoing <clears throat> conflict in Ukraine. The tactic has mostly been the same. Just hope you have more men than the enemy has bullets. You mean they literally surg rushing? Basically. Oh dear. Okay, select all of you. And yeah, we need to get around that thing without getting shot to pieces. Okay, we can't call in more troops. Uh, he's doing pre pretty good at stopping all of them. Okay, here's our extra troops. Let's bring them up as well. We can call in even more. Okay, move you ahead. And we need to get in range to grenade that thing. Okay, let's keep hopping to and from. Shock troops can now be used to crush the enemy. Okay. The line is, of course, how far they can throw. So, there we go. And gone. Their HMG is down. Advance. Okay. We can't call in any more at the moment. Comrade, those fucking howitzers are going to annihilate our troops. Move up, locate, and destroy them quickly. Okay. You we'll move over there. You take cover there to deal with these. You have your grenades ready. Side objective for the time limit, depending on how many of the soldiers are left defending there. This place is mostly clear, so we can send everyone towards there. The U lot, take cover there, you there, you there, and there. Just a matter of time until these are wiped out. Okay, move up. You there. 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 And we'll see where the last ones end up. You there. Okay, we've got them flanked. So we're dealing extra damage. Or at least full damage without damage reduction. Okay, press on. Uh, grenade those guys and then take cover. Giving up good cover for decent cover. Oh dear. Yeah. 
I am... I am hesitant about streaming this one. Since we're probably already on thin ice for Commandos 2. Thank you, Commander. I thought we were done for. Let's get these civilians back to the river. Go! Yeah. Out, out. And I feel like we always enter... Like, there's many topics about this era and many topics probably in... The... Uh, it, 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 it feels like it's, uh, I'm running dry on topics to talk about this era that are not that are acceptable to talk about, so to say. Yeah. At least not without the, being misunderstood or anything like, the, like that. Or having the might to cut off at the wrong moment. Heck. Yes. Yeah. Uh, War 2 is not a fun topic for me. Cover there. There. Never mind on that grenade then. Oh yeah, th this game, I have not played it much myself. Like I, you could see I only got to the third level. Uh, but yeah, from what I heard, it is very well liked, too. Get out of the line of sight. Your shock troops cannot damage that tank. Okay, we can steal their gear. I don't think an MG42 is going to do anything against a tank. The flow of conscripts is going to keep continuing as we go with this. It's well, it's very fitting to just the absolute meat grinder that uh, World War II was on the Soviet side. Yeah, it was said for anyone. Uh. Okay, get it, this it, it way. is a. The World War II are very depressing times. We can attempt a flank. Use a smoke grenade. Yes. Go. You lot get up close. I, I'm a bit uh, uncertain on how streamable this game will be for us. From what, what I hear, the, the story is great. Okay, someone grenade that machine gun. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know the Germans were, were into... Uh, Paired break dancing. So that I think there's some kind of dog sorcery going on with tea poses. Oh, they, they went that. Oh, you with that instead. I, I I thought I sent them through the middle here, but no, there's too much rubble. Lots. Get into that thing. Get over the sandbags first, it seems. And then take this thing. <laughs> Went a completely different route. Take the anti tank gun through the ruins and destroy the tank. Oh dear. I will say this I do look forward to when we get to stream Dawn of War. But that's why I feel like we have more easy things to commentate about. Okay, turn that thing, take this thing out. 
least armor on the back. Shit. Shoot. That's me. Deflection. Fire again. Yeah, Shit. crap. Reload. Hurry. Let's see. Can we fuse you two with another group? of resources and manpower. Okay, how much on the timer? Six minutes. I say, I will say, disrespectful of soldiers' lives. We have gear to steal, another MTG-42. You lot, go grab that. But so this so is war in wars. That is true. But the good commander try to min will try to minimize the casualty as much as possible. But I understand they are they, they are living beings they send into combat. Good. This guy here, however, this guy here doesn't see it that way very clearly and yeah. not mean him i mean the command uh, general here in the game uh, yeah, that, wasn't, that wasn't our character i believe that was, that's just how did the officers of the german uh, not the german of the uh, russian army were and to a degree still are yeah the, the lieutenant which we i think we are playing as seems to understand was a good move to retreat, but the general, oh bloody heck! We're getting taken fire from that howard, sir. There's another MG42 for us to steal there if we wanted, but I think we should probably keep to a few of normal armed conscripts. A grenade in there. So that's closer. Okay, and then take cover again. Ulots. Utilize the anti tank gun and destroy that German armor. Remember, uh, where is it? Flank them if you can. Onward, comrades. Drive them from your city. Now, there they are. Okay, uh, move up to there. They will take. They will need time to set up. We can use these guys as cover, and well, if they get killed, they can take the gun. Okay, do you have a firing line? Uh, where are you all going? There we go. Okay, I believe armor uh, is a thing in this game, as in you want to attack from the sides or the back where the least amount of armor is. This isn't the best idea at the moment, and they're actually shooting the fountain. Not the fountain, that <laughs> the square thing and the pieces there. I think that was a fountain. And that's the first mission done. <laughs> With the centerpiece suddenly <laughs> repaired again. <laughs> 
Wasn't that a war crime? Do you think they really cared? This young lady is Anya Zelensky. But it was also a problem of the time. Uh, in yeah, that's <laughs> not a lot of people actually spoke or understood multiple languages. So yeah, it might have been more than obvious that he was surrendering through his actions. Uh, they'll probably still throw it on miscommunication. Oh, the gods and goddesses. And we're at two minutes left on this, so I don't think we can get much more other than the next cinematic. Yes. Darling girl. I remember. Those Germans tried to surrender and... We won a glorious victory that day. Glorious? Tell me, comrade. When did you begin to lose faith in the cause? When we first met, you were a true believer. In my men. I always believed in them. That is it. Uh, outskirts of Moscow, USSR. Nearly a year before the Wehrmacht, uh, Wehrmacht uh, reached Stalingrad, the Red Army struggled to answer the threats of Operation Barbarossa. Towns and villages throughout the western USSR were evacuated as military forces dug in and prepared for the German assault. However, the power of the Blitzkrieg overwhelmed many Soviet armies as trained and disciplined grenadier divisions swept across the battlefield with brutal efficiency. Stalin was desperate to prevent an attack on Moscow and would send thousands of soldiers to die in their attempt to slow the German advance. On the outskirts of the capital, Isakovic met, uh, yeah, met Colonel Churkin for the first time. In the Soviet army, it takes more courage to retreat than advance. Joseph Stalin. Yeah, and then he specifically has people shot for retreating. Oh, bloody heck. I am Colonel Churkin of the NKVD. Major Baradin has been relieved from incompetence, and I have assumed command. Comrades, the fascists are almost upon us. Our front line is contracting again. We no longer have the resources to hold the Germans here. But, sir, we have to slow them down. We can buy time for the civilians to escape. Lieutenant? Isakovich, Lev Abramovich, comrade colonel. Yes, Lieutenant, we must buy time. Not only for the civilians here, but for Moscow. We must also prevent the German bastards from capturing our supplies. Anything we can't load onto that train must be destroyed. And immediately the difference in ideology is clear between the two. Oh dear. Comrade Lieutenant Izakovich, while our men continue to load the train, your unit will be tasked with evacuating and destroying any remaining military assets. First, hold the enemy at the front line while our supply trucks are evacuated. Once they depart, lure the fascists into town where our engineers have planted explosives. Destroy anything that might be of use to the Germans, and then fall back to the rail yard, where you must protect the train until it departs. When the train leaves, evacuate to the rally point across the bridge. Are you prepared to execute your orders, Lieutenant Izakovich? For the Rogina, the motherland! And yeah, you can take a guess as to where that is going with the story. Even though I've not gotten too far into it past here myself. But yeah, yeah um, I'm leaning no for this game. Like, I'm sure it's a fun game, just... I don't know, just... Is it a bit too depressing? 
Yeah, we've we've already had a our dose of depression with uh, a previous game. Yeah, and also considering uh, current world problems and all that. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. In alphabetical order, Bugs Bunny lost in time. No, at the moment, maybe leaning to yes if we can fix the problems. I'll have to see if uh, Time Busters has the same issues because it isn't. It isn't like the games are uh, connected by story, really. It's more connected by theme, as in Bugs Bunny manages to get himself lost in time somehow. Oh dear. Then we have Call of Juarez Gunslinger, which is, I'd say, a definite yes, <laughs> even if he will likely talk over us <laughs> almost all the time. Yeah, though we. We probably have easier time talking between the leveling section. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm still getting tired from stuff. Um, Cats in Time and Colony Survival. Cute games on their own, but not really stream material. And yeah, a no on Company of Heroes 2 then. Uh, we've had worse Only matches, one. I think. Yeah. We have, we have had worse. But for now, let's move on over here and go look for someone to raid. Let me double check that the site is muted. It is. Then we change. First off, this thing needs to go back to here, there. Yeah, there we go. What did I accidentally activate then instead? It, it was still showing you all the over. Okay, it was <laughs> that was the bar for. <clears throat> there was the button to deactivate uh, sidebars and such, but I, those haven't been active anymore anyways. Okay, change the screen share on Discord to the browser, and let's have a look at who we are online at the moment. We have Sour Walrus, who has moved on from Valheim onto Fallout 4, it seems. Then we have Redacted Cat, who is streaming Diablo 2. Kiri Natsuyoko is streaming Pokemon Emerald. And Derpy Doo is streaming Hades. Then we have Horatius the Dwarf streaming Dark Souls Remastered. And Puffle Cakey is... Okay, apparently they're back from something. They're just chatting at the moment. And those are the people under 100 <laughs> yeah, current viewers. Uh, any of those sound interesting or shall we look at the recommended? Uh, let's look at the recommended. Okay, we have Evil Snowball streaming Elden Ring. Mage Masher 22 streaming Dragon Quest 11. Uh, Dragon Quest 11 S. Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. Okay, say that five times fast. <clears throat> uh, Chili VT is streaming also Elden Ring. Babella Balam is streaming Seven Days to Die. Uh, Striker Sly is just chatting. They are, yeah, they seem, looks like they are preluding to something. They just haven't changed what uh, they will be streaming to yet. Uh, Jin Grit Spark is streaming Fallout 76. And Des Hex is streaming The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Then we have Youth. Yuffie DND, who is streaming Monster Sanctuary. I've heard good things about that game. Yeah, same. And Project Video Games is streaming Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. And last here at the moment is Miss Violet Wolf, who is streaming Power Wash Simulator. Okay. Any of those sound interesting, or shall we go for one of the ones I have followed at the moment? Yeah, probably one of those we have uh, followed. Okay. Uh, shall we go give Redacted Cat a visit then? Demo Derpy Do. Do we have visited Derpy Do a lot? Yeah, let's go for Redacted Cat then. Okay, copy the name. And you were talking. You know, it was you earlier who was asking about Diablo like games, right? <laughs> I thought about that, I tried to find some. Okay. Uh, for the Switch. 
Um, yeah, Torchlight is probably available on that as digital downloads or something, but I don't know specific. You know, I don't know if they are specifically. Yeah, um, probably it's a. I gonna have, since since it's a bit harder to buy a physical copy nowadays, it's gonna have to be a game that's that's good, but also not big to download. Yeah. Since the Switch has one annoying thing, and that is it goes to sleep mode after a while if you don't keep poking a button or an analog switch or something. Yeah. And if it, you let it sleep, it may not download it. It may pause. So it's kind of annoying. In my experience, as long as it's in, in, in its dock, it will continue downloading. Oh, yeah, when it's in it's dock. Powered. But that's the problem. Sometimes I have good in connection, but other times I may have to bring it downstairs to put it next to the router. Okay. Uh, there you see could... the problem. Uh, if you have a, one of those charging cables with USB-C end on one end and USB well, anything else on the other, uh, you could you could try connecting it to a phone charger. Those work on them. Uh, maybe. The, the battery is good, so there's not a problem. Just having to go up and down, up and down to poke the analog stick from keeping it from falling asleep. Well, if it's charging, it'll keep going. If it's yeah, charging, it'll keep downloading all the same. But yeah, uh, for now though, uh, I'll keep tinkering on that possible full screen. Uh, well, scene. Uh, let me see. I I didn't change too much yet. I, actually, it would just show the same. I think at the moment because there's no game for it to currently record. So no need to go looking there. Uh, yeah, for now though, uh, yeah, <laughs> chat has been a bit quiet. I guess Trucker is just resting, or well, busy working, of course. Uh, it was nice having him for a few streams, but yeah, work and real life take precedence over streaming, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get that raid started. And I should be able to... Uh, yes, I'm looking at two late shifts starting tomorrow. So Wednesday, I should be able to stream again. We'll be back to Commandos then. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, for now, though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially for <laughs> for chatting along, Vakir. Your book of Zobas and... Wait. Wednesday, you say? Uh... Yeah, yeah, no. If Wednesday, if possible, if, uh, we will do the. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm messing things up now. If Wednesday, if possible, uh, we will be having a special stream anniversary stream. I, I <laughs> kind of forgot that we was being busy. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I actually know. Hmm. I'll need to double check. For on the eighth or ninth, at least we try. We plan to try that. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you all for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, because the timer, great timer, is counting down. Yeah, be safe, everyone, and watch out for monsters.